12-year-old boy was sent home from school for wearing a shirt that says there are only two genders and he confronts the school board about it. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my freedom-loving friends, where we like to lint roll our shirts and also call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. Now, today's video, we've got a 12-year-old boy who is a freedom fighter. He is standing up for not only his right to free speech, which is very profound, but also he's standing up for reality, biology, science. Trust the science. Unless it's based on science, then it's pretty tr untrustworthy, probably right-wing extremism, if you, if you will. So this 12-year-old boy, as I mentioned, he wore a shirt to school that says, there are only two genders. Uh, spoiler alert, there's only two genders. But of course the school sent him home saying his shirt was making other students uncomfortable. <laughs> Dude, mentally ill people are very uncomfortable with reality at times. That's a fact. So the little boy's father had to come pick him up. But the boy, he didn't stop there. He then confronted the school board at a school board meeting. And there's a video of that, what he said to the school board and we're gonna take a look at it together. Oh, and by the way, you know, I get so inspired by any freedom fighter, anyone who's putting their words and actions into impeccable alignment with their heart, their soul, and their own critical thinking. In other words, people who have the courage to speak the truth and act on it. But I get even more inspired when I see kids doing it. Y you just have to imagine whatever level of social pressure you and I feel to conform. Obviously, we choose the lion, not sheep mentality, and we don't conform, but at times it's tough. And you just imagine for a, a kid, a 12-year-old kid, it's got to be even more pressure because like all kids want to do, they want to belong, they want to fit in, they want their tribe. And of course, going against the grain, that can be very threatening to that. And you, ah, other people won't like me, they'll reject me. It's very strong for kids. So I think it takes even more courage for a child to stand up as a freedom fighter. It inspires me to do my job even more fiercely each and every day. So I'm extremely grateful for this uh, young boy, not only what he did, his courage, his willingness to just state the truth and stand for the truth, but I'm also grateful for him inspiring other kids to do the same, and quite frankly, him inspiring other adults to do the same. Because if we're sitting here like, hey, I'm an adult, like, you know, whatever, I can take care of myself, but I don't have the courage to do what this 12-year-old boy does, then shame on us. And uh, rather than shame on us, I say, let's just follow his example. Let's take a look. So the context is, he was sent home saying, your shirt's disruptive. Hello. Good evening. My name is Liam Morrison. Dude, he got that line from <laughs> John Fetterman. No, John Fetterman started his speech by saying good night. He was the opposite of John Fetterman, which means he's intelligent. I'm in the seventh, 10th grade at Nichols Middle School. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. I never thought that the shirt I wore to school on March 21st would lead me to speak with you today. On that Tuesday morning, I was taken out of gym class to sit down with two adults for what turned out to be a very uncomfortable talk. Two activists, most likely. I was told that people were complaining about the words on my shirt, that my shirt was making some students feel unsafe. Yes, words on a shirt made people feel unsafe. Do you remember like when we were kids, the old saying, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt. And now the woke have gotten so weak that they're like, no, words will definitely break my bones. Yeah, those old, those people, uh, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt. No, I am so weak and frail. Words will definitely hurt me. They literally cause pancreatitis, okay? so enough of this whole free speech thing. It's making me feel unsafe. If you would just say and think what I want you to, then I will feel safe. I'll still be an idiot, but I'll feel like a safe idiot. Okay, I'm being a judgmental bastard. Please forgive me. They told me that I wasn't in trouble, but it sure felt like I was. I told, I was told that I would need to remove my shirt before I could return to class. When I nicely told them- Dude, his teacher's probably one of the 
the drag queens is like, yeah, you gotta take your shirt off and those pants are kind of offensive too. Let's get ready for story hour, young man. Um, that I didn't want to do that. They called my father. Thankfully, my dad supported my, my decisions and came to pick me up. What did my shirt say? Five simple words. There are only two genders. Wow, are you okay? Did those, how unsafe did those words just make you feel? Are you, do you have bruises on your body? Uh, do you have fractures in your sternum? <laughs> do you have appendicitis? Nothing harmful, nothing threatening. Just a statement I believe to be a fact. I have been told that my shirt was targeting a protected class. Who is this protected class? So yeah, targeting a protected class. Communists that want to abolish free speech, that's literally what the protected class is. They've got many different names for it, just all the protected classes. You kind of invent the class, then you change who you are to be in that class, and now you're part of the protected class. It's very, very solid. Are their feelings more important than my rights? I don't complain when I see pride flags and diversity posters hung throughout the school. I kind of complain when I see pride flags. This kid's more mature than me. Do you know why? Because others have a right to their beliefs just as I do. Not one person, staff, or student told me that they were bothered by what I was wearing. Actually, just the opposite. Several kids told me that they supported my actions and that they wanted one too. That's what's really cool. When, when you say something that a lot of other people are thinking they're just too scared to say at first, or you wear a shirt that does the same thing, that unlocks something in people. Like people will start to give themselves permission to have their words and actions be in alignment with their own critical thinking when they see an example of it. Here's why. Because, sorry, my back is itchy. I haven't showered for three weeks, but I identify as bathed. Because here's what happens. When they see you with the courage to do the, say the thing, do the thing, be truthful, they then feel a lack of integrity within themselves if they don't also do that. And they see it's possible. They, it's kind of like, ah, oh, you ran the four minute mile. Now I know that's possible. Now a lot of people can do it. So they see that, most people, with integrity. They don't like to sit with that uncomfortable feeling of incongruence and lack of integrity within themselves. So the cure to get out of that uncomfortable feeling is to then be truthful, have their words more in alignment with what they actually think. That's cool, that's, that's the key that gives people permission to stand for what's right. So nonetheless, just know when you're out there, you're saying the thing, you're wearing a shirt that says the thing that needs to be said, yes, you're making a statement, that's cool. But what's really cool is, other people are then giving themselves permission to do it because nobody likes to feel like a weak moron. And they know I would, I would not only feel, but I would be a weak moron if I didn't also do what you're doing because I feel the same way. So I'm gonna give myself permission to do that. Nonetheless, really cool what Boyd just said. I really elaborated on that, didn't I? I was told that the shirt was a disruption to learning. No one got up and stormed out of class. No one burst into tears. I'm sure I would have noticed if they had. I experience disruptions to my learning every day. Kids acting out in class are a disruption, yet nothing is done. Why do the rules apply to one, yet not another? I feel like these adults were telling me that it wasn't okay for me to have an opposing view. That's exactly what they were telling them. Their arguments were weak, in my opinion. Woo, their arguments were weak, in my opinion. I love that. They were weak. Here's these adults. They're not, it's a school. These adults are supposed to be educating you, up-leveling you, empowering kids. But they're just bringing this relentless weakness to kids. But this kid doesn't go for the relentless weakness. He chooses truth over falsehood. He chooses reality over this 1984 indoctrination that apparently this school was trying to pull him into. I didn't go to school that day to hurt feelings or cause trouble. I have learned a lot from this experience. I learned that a lot of other students share my view. I learned that adults don't always do the right thing or make the right decisions. I know that I have a right to wear those five, a shirt with those five words. Even at 12 years old, I have my own political opinions and I have a right to express those opinions. Even at school. 
By the way, uh, there's only two genders. It's ridiculous that that's a political opinion. It, it's just a reality-based fact. It's a scientific fact. How weird is it that, and he appropriately phrased it, but how weird is it that that's now considered a political view? Like, dude, I, I don't really believe in gravity. You think there's gravity? Dude, I don't, uh, I don't vibe with your politics. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm a gravity denier. I identify this planet as gravityless, and you being stuck to this planet, it is politically offensive to me. So please float if you will, because if you don't, I feel unsafe, and I will report you, and I am an idiot. This right is called the First Amendment to the Constitution. It's my favorite. My hope in being here tonight is to bring the school committee's attention to this issue. I hope that you will speak up for the rest of us so we can express ourselves without being pulled out of class. Next time, it may not only be me, there might be more students that decide to speak out. Thank you for your time and good night. Love it, man. Uh, I, I don't even know this young man's name. Shout out to you, young man, for having the courage to do what you wanted to do, expressing, yes, a political opinion, but more than that, it was expressing reality. So had the courage to do that, and then had the courage to stand on principle when the school tried to get him to take the shirt off, which is kind of creepy. And then he has even more courage to confront the school board at a school board meeting. The world needs more people like this young man. I appreciate him. And I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you for watching this video with me. Coming along for the ride as we uh, do our best to fight for freedom. By the way, I think we're winning. And I also want to thank the sponsor of today's video for supporting this channel, supporting me and my family, and supporting so many viewers with their amazing health optimizing products, buy optimizers, and sleep breakthrough. I want to talk to you, my friend. When I'm stressed or anxious or I've been in hyper productivity mode all day, I find it hard to fall asleep. My mind and thoughts are racing about what I did that day, what I've got to do tomorrow. And for me, it can lead to a little bit of a vicious cycle of sleep deprivation, which has me feeling not very good. And to use scientific terminology, it sucks. But once I started using Sleep Breakthrough by Bioptimizers, I find I was getting to sleep quicker, getting better quality of sleep, and waking up the next day with more energy. I personally view sleep as the foundation for success in terms of feeling and functioning my best, but also being productive and on purpose. And I don't like it when problems get in the way of my success, and Sleep Breakthrough has helped remove those problems. Sleep Breakthrough is a delicious all-natural formula that gives your body the precursor molecules it needs to make melatonin, which is cool because it helps you sleep really well and you don't wake up the next day with a sleep hangover. If you're someone who struggles with sleep or you just want to optimize your sleep so you can get the absolute most out of it to help support your success, then check out Sleep Breakthrough at sleepbreakthrough.com slash jpreacts. And at checkout, use the code jpreacts10 to unlock special gifts with your purchase. This is a limited time offer on select orders, so go to sleepbreakthrough.com slash jpreacts now.